my name is Lance Bumgard, a faculty member at Iowa State University. I'm originally from Minnesota and I've been at Iowa State University now for about 10 years. We, we whittle our way down to the gut and gut health because heat stress markedly affects the gut. And then once we got there, we started recognizing that the consequences of leaky gut are heat stress induced leaky gut resemble a variety of other on-farm problems like transition period and feed restriction and, uh, and uh, mycotoxins, etc. etc. We essentially um, you end up having um, infiltration of antigens and other immune activating molecules and you end up getting a, an immune response. So the antigens that normally would be prevented from getting through the barrier of the epithelial get through, activate the immune system, and you end up getting an immune response. We've been very much following the work by a guy named Dr. Adam Moser at Michigan State University and he's been characterizing nicely how just simply being uh, psychologically stressed or emotionally stressed can negatively affect the gut and something that we all have familiarity with, right? You get nervous before a big game or a big exam and you have knots in your belly. Well, that's, that's not in your head, it's, it's real and he's doing a great job of describing how and why that happens. I think I mentioned that there's more neurons in your uh, in your enteric system, in your in, entire GI tract, than there are actually in your in your skull. I, I think I also mentioned that there's more there's more microbes in your GI tract than there are cells in your body. So the, the gut and the gut health and the, 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 the control of the gut is, is much more complex than what we originally give it credit for.